all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel if you guys enjoy this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button really helps me out appreciate you guys so much we're gonna do a, something different today we're actually gonna be talking about spencer dinwiddie on the brooklyn nets if you guys have any particular videos you want me to tackle i know packers wants me to do a why Giannis could be an mvp candidate uh so yeah if you guys have any video ideas leave a comment but let's just get right into today's video i want to talk about spencer dinwiddie because he's actually really one of the only contracts that the brooklyn nets have that they can really trade and the other two it's important to know who the other two are joe harris and deandre jordan it's important to know that because those two players are extremely valuable for the brooklyn nets this season now dinwiddie's been rumored he's been linked Rumors have been linked with a couple of teams, particularly like the Pistons. The thing with Spencer Dinwiddie is he is currently injured. And there is just no shot that he plays this entire season. And, you know, ACL injuries are, are brutal. It's going to be a contract year. And it sucks because he just went off in the 2019-2020 NBA season as I'm sure most of us watching this video are fully aware of. I mean, he had 20.6 points, averaged almost seven assists, three and a half rebounds per game, had a couple of steals, had a couple of blocks, only gave up a little less than three turnovers. I mean, Spencer Dinwiddie was, was it. He was the man for Brooklyn last season. He even, if you ask me, he even got snubbed for an all-star appearance. I mean, this dude was absolutely hooping. So his value is got to be relatively little because of his contract. It's a similar situation to Victor Oladipo for my Rockets fans. Just that, you know, Victor Oladipo is currently playing basketball. So it's a huge difference, actually, uh, but just kind of vaguely similar just because the whole, uh, you know, expiring contract type of thing. So. As far as actual value goes, it remains to be seen. I mean, I think the Brooklyn Nets, and I think what they would do is they would uh, they would focus on, they need to win now. So I'm thinking guys like JaVale McGee have been heavily linked with the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, JaVale would be great, man. JaVale would be great. Extra depth, another big man, good defense, good blocker, good rim protector. They, they, they would do very well with JaVale McGee. I mean, I don't know how many minutes he would play, 15, no more than 20 on any given night. Claxton looks incredible, young talent for the Brooklyn Nets, though, so maybe this is kind of a wait-and-see situation. But I actually, you guys know I'm from Chicago, and this is the trade particularly that I want to talk about because I love the Chicago Bulls. And, you know, I, we lost last night, so we're 15 and 18. And I loved it, Spencer Dinley. I think he can absolutely hoop. We're not in win now mode, so it's that's the whole thing about Dinwiddie. You can't really trade him to a win now team because, well, he's hurt. You can't win now with him. So that's why I like the the Bulls because they have a ton of point guards or not point guards. They have a ton of guards just in general. The problem is they don't really have any playmaking guards. So that's why, I mean, a lot of Bulls fans love the idea of getting. Lonzo Ball, a playmaking point guard. I, I like the idea as well. I just talked about it. Just made a, uh, <laughs> I just made a Chicago Bulls video where I actually talked about that trade and how I would like that. So, I think the Bulls are an extremely interesting candidate because we have a guy Thaddeus Young on our team who is still a hooper. I mean, Thaddeus Young came into the league a while ago, but he's still young. And he is, he's going off this season. He's going off right now for the Chicago Bulls because Laurie Markkinen's been pretty iffy all season. Like, Thaddeus Young on the year averaging nearly 12 points, nearly six rebounds, nearly four and a half assists, a steal and a half per game, and then half a block per game. I mean, Thaddeus Young is having a very good season. And he would really help out the Brooklyn Nets, if you ask me. Like, he would really really help them out so i think the bulls are a perfect suitor um i don't you know obviously it's not as easy as it all sounds because 
you know, <laughs> the Bulls, like I mentioned, they have a ton of guards. We have a ton of guards. And the Bulls are going to have to figure that situation out sooner rather than later. A lot of guys think Kobe White's going to be just a bench point guard. If that were to be the case, Spencer Dinwiddie would be a good guy for us. Dinwiddie also six man. I mean, the Duke can come off the bench and absolutely hoop. So nothing with them is really nothing with Dinwiddie is really off the table. It's just, I mean, shoot, man, he's coming off an injury. The value, it just must not be too high. He's really one of the last assets that the Brooklyn Nets can give up. So some possible other candidates, possible other teams. Uh, I mean, you've got the Detroit Pistons are relatively interesting because they've got some young talent over there. Uh, I think that with the Pistons, though, I don't. I, I don't think I don't see that. I would see the Bulls happen a little bit more than the Pistons. I don't really see the Pistons giving much talent up. Uh, as far as helping out the the Brooklyn Nets, like I, I really just think Thaddeus Young is the perfect fit for the Brooklyn Nets. But some possible other candidates. I mean, you've got the New York Knicks. Uh, however, the New York Knicks are they're having a good season this year, man. They're they're fourth in the East. They just traded for Derrick Rose, so that's kind of important. But I think it's evident. I mean, if you ever watch a Knicks game, I, I think it's evident. I'm sure their fans would agree. I don't know many Knicks fans, but if you're a Knicks fan, leave a comment on this video. But I'm pretty sure everybody can agree watching Knicks videos that Alfred Payton is not the dude. Like, I don't think he's ever been the dude. Definitely isn't the dude on the Knicks. So, D. Rose, I love him. A little bit old, so might want to get a little bit younger with Spencer Dinwiddie and kind of take that risk. But outside of them, uh, I guess you got the Celtics as well. You know, that whole Kemba Walker situation, I I couldn't really tell you what they're going to do about that. Kemba's actually strung together a couple of good games. So they're just rumblings. They're just rumors for right now. But I thought that was a little interesting because I think Spencer Dinwiddie trading him away is probably the Brooklyn Nets' best bet. Like, it really sucks. Like I said, I mean, he kind of got snubbed for an all-star, if you ask me. Uh, has an incredible season tears his ACL and then possibly gets traded instead of winning a championship on the Brooklyn Nets. It's super unfortunate. Uh, but it's just, like I said, DJ and Joe Harris are like two of their good contracts, two of their good assets that they could trade away. And, and those guys are just untradeable this season. They're, they're way too valuable, especially with the whole James Harden trade going down. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know where you think Spencer Dinwiddie should end up or if you think he should end up on the Brooklyn Nets. Leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys later.